In 2019, dozens of 5G networks commercialised, with the vast majority of these coming with FWA, especially in Europe. All vendors are now releasing their FWA solution, but is this a game changer for the fixed market? Let's have an in-depth discussion with Mr. Walter Wang from Huawei and Ki Young Mun from Mobile Experts. Welcome to Huawei 5G Live. I'm Professor Sally Eves. It's a real pleasure to be here today with Walter Wang from Huawei and Ki Young Mun from Mobile Experts. Pleasure to meet you both. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'd love to kind of drill down into 5G and FWA. And I know, Kim, your organization put together an awesome report around looking ahead at trends. And I wondered what you could share in terms of the key insights looking ahead at the future of FWA and what's kind of exceeded your expectations. Yeah, I guess the expectation comes down to three things. One is the spectrum availability. We're seeing a lot of regulators around the world opening up a spectrum for uh, 5G, whether it's in the sub-6 C band as well as in the middle middle wave bands. Uh, second thing is you know, around the velocity of the ecosystem. Uh, we're seeing the 5G ecosystem uh, maturing much faster than what we have seen in the past. And thirdly, lastly, is the demand, the ongoing demand for you know, connectivity, whether we're talking mobile or the fixed broadband connectivity, still there. So I think we you know, see those three trends being really uh, accelerating that. Thank you. Okay. Really appreciate that. And Walter, from your perspective, I just want to see what you want to add to that. Um, and kind of why does the world need FWA? Thinking of the everyday user in their home, how does this go beyond and above fibre, for example? Um, FWA actually uh, is the technology to provide broadband. So if you look at that word, so it's a still a large number of uh, the household mm -hmm. is not connected, i.e. Uh, 800 million household was not connected at, at this point of time. And uh, um, even though the, for the connected uh, part, so the fiber connection is highly concentrated on a few countries like uh, USA and uh, Japan and South Korea and China. So all the rest of the world, uh, the primary technology is the older, long existing technology like copper and uh, cable stuff. So that actually comes with a, a huge market. Uh, at the meantime, so with the 5G boost the capability of FWA, so actually, they will enlarge the marketplace for the FWA. So uh, particularly, um, the 5G actually uh, provide large bandwidth with the MISMIMO, which actually boost in the capacity for long sustainable uh, FWA business case for the operators around the globe. And Kian, from a band perspective, what do you think the best alignment is for operators? How does context matter? I think it depends on what the operator have, what kind of spectrum they own. Uh, for the C-band, I think it's obviously the physics of it all is you can travel further. So you, we see that as kind of more of a suburban, uh, wider kind of coverage <laughs> deployments. Middle middle wave is a shorter distance. It's the physics of it all, of the signal. So that it really covers, really uh, catered towards the dense urban environments. Shorter distance. Thank you. And just thinking a little bit about cost and particularly around CPE, Walter, have you got any news to share that might be exciting about how that cost can be reduced? Yeah, um, at the moment, uh, the, the industry is uh, ramping up to provide more CPEs. But in addition to that, in the second half, we believe it will have a proper marketplace for the CPE. The price will go down below 150 uh, US dollar per CPE. Wonderful, excellent news. And I think just focusing finally on application, and perhaps going back to yourself, um, what excites you most? What do you think the biggest difference is now we're going into the real commercialization of 5G that FWA will enable from the really exciting applications that consumers can benefit from? Yeah, I'm really excited about the capacity abundance. I think yeah. the fact that we can have lots of capacity for the users, whether it's a residential or enterprise, yeah. that really enables the new services such as you know, cloud gaming, you know, you talk about e-health kind of mm. applications. Those are all exciting applications, but yes. at the first of all, you've got to have a lot of capacity. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more. The capacity really, really leading to innovation here. Walter, Keyung, lovely to meet you, and thank you so much for sharing your insights. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you.